Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another q and I haven't done one of these in a very long time. We, get, we got a couple questions, so we'll run through them. So the first two we'll do come straight from Mama G. And the first one she asked was, where do I see myself in 10 years? And I see myself literally right here in front of the, well, maybe not this exact same camera. Hopefully I'd have upgraded from a Moto G stylist by then. But uh, yeah, I, I still want to be doing YouTube. I still want to be streaming, still want to be gaming. And I still want to be connecting with, with you guys, con uh, just staying on the consistent daily upload schedule. And and yeah, her next question was what makes you truly happy? And that kind of ties into the last question. Honestly, the only things that really truly make me happy are working on YouTube videos, working on music and gaming. Uh, and I, I mean, just anything really like technology related, honestly, uh, those are the, like my hobbies are what make me happy, I guess, you know, like anytime I spend like hours getting footage or spend time like, you know, recording and editing and making thumbnails or whether it be like building computers, fixing consoles, uh, you know, just the, the process of buying consoles or looking at new games, just anything in the tech world I am all about. And that's like the stuff that makes me really happy along with like content creation and gaming and all that. The next question comes from a patron known as Low Booty Zap. And he asked me, what, what are my plans for like music coming up? And I've been working on some music. I haven't dropped any in like over a year. It's been a really long time. I haven't even talked about it really. Um, but yeah, I've been working on some stuff, some stuff kind of slowly coming together. Uh, nothing really set in stone yet. No plans for any big albums or EPs or anything like that. Just, uh, I might have a single dropping here soon, but that's about the extent of it. His second question, and I can't believe I'm going to answer this mother, if you're watching or any other family member, please skip like 30 seconds to a minute ahead in the video. Even if you end up missing another question because of it, I'd rather that than have you hear this story. So are you guys gone? This is the final warning. Okay. Three, two one so it, it, it was a summer i'm not gonna go into names not gonna go into specific details and places but all i'm gonna say is i was like 13 years old and i was in a swimming pool in a very hot state in the middle of the day it was a little weird it was very weird i mean everybody's first time is weird you don't know you know what i mean and um yeah the rest of the questions came from an anon anonymous thing i did on my snapchat you know we have those things where it's like oh slide up and then put in your questions that's where the rest of these came from so i really don't know the names of these people actually one of them i do know because he left his little tag at the bottom it was from a guy named pepperoni pizza what a lovely name i've seen him around on the channel before um but he asked what jobs have i had before and i've worked at mcdonald's i've worked at a retirement home uh, i wasn't working with like the old people i was just kind of working in the kitchen and i'd help like clean up tables and stuff then i worked at culver's and then i worked at subway which was my most recent job before i lost my job because we were bought out by a bunch of indian people and everybody there got fired another person asked uh am i single and do i have any plans to look for a relationship if i am single and absolutely not i'm i'm very single i've been single for three years now what year is it yeah it's like 20, 20 yeah it's, it's been like three years now and no i'm not currently looking for anybody i i like what i do now i like gaming i like making my videos i like doing my thing i mean i don't know i've been in a couple relationships before and it's just it's really not for me i really like being alone like if i could spend every single day alone on like an island with really fast wi-fi and just be alone with me and my games that's all I need. I really can't stand relationships. It's so much commitment, so much money, so much heartbreak. I don't got time for that. The next question was, how many games have I beaten this year and which ones are my favorite? And I know this has to be somebody that's obviously like watched the channel before because uh, it, it, anybody that's been on the channel knows how many games I've been beating this year. I've been clearing out between 10 to 20 each month. And honestly, at this point, I lost count. I believe I'm at like 10 for this month. And then like February, I had like 19 or maybe that was last month. I don't know. It was like January is 15, February is 14, March was like 19. So that's like 29 plus 19 is 48 plus 9. I'm at like 58 games this year. And if I had to pick my favorite, that would be the hard. Like I, I couldn't even pick like a top five. So many games I've played have been so good this year. I've played through Mass Effect 1, Max Payne 3, playing through Cyberpunk. And despite the bugs, the game is really good story-wise. I really love it. Last of Us Part 2, oh my god, there's been so many banger games I've played. I believe Guardians of the Galaxy might have been this year that I played that. That game was phenomenal. Just so many good games, so many good games. I'll have to make like a list of like my top 100 by the end of the year because I'm sure I'll beat like almost 200 games by the end of the year. The next question was kind of like three questions in one. It was like, what's your favorite breakfast food, lunch food, and dinner food, which is actually really easy for me. So my favorite breakfast, breakfast food, cereal. My favorite lunch food, any sort of like cold cut sandwich, like a ham and cheese with like, you know, mayo or mayo racha. You know, I really like that one. If you guys have never tried that, go to the store, pick it up. Mayo racha, it's by Heinz. It's like a mix of, well, mayo and sriracha. It's, oh, it's so good. 
like that and then like you know with like a side of chips and some oreos or something like that and then when it comes to like dinner food man uh probably exactly what i had last night buffalo chicken nuggets with french fries and a powdered donut my guy and i answered that question last or like before this one on purpose because the next one is how is recovery going and like how much progress have you made so when i started recovery i was about like 80 pounds but right now i'm around the 120 mark so 40 pounds back four months doing pretty good and I've been sticking to 3,000 calories a day just to, you know, keep my thing going. And also on top of that, I've still managed to do 12K steps a day, you know, get my get my healthy steps in. And yeah, it, it's pretty cool. The fact that I've been able to exercise just as much as I was when I was losing weight, but still be able to gain weight just because I balanced it out. I'm just, I'm proud of myself for that. But yeah, um, and then I figure I might as well just kind of run down what, what I eat in a day. Since it's been a while since I've done an update, I used to do that in all my anorexia update videos. I'd be like, here's what I ate yesterday, but I'll do that again here. So like yesterday, for example, I had Fruit Loops with marshmallows in the morning for breakfast. And then I had a very, yeah, for, for my fruit smoothie, sometimes I just dump a can of fruit into the blender and just blend it up. And the smoothie I had yesterday was by D Del Monte. The fruit mix was called like very cherry and I threw some syrup in there. It was very good. And then for snack, I had a Nature's Valley cinnamon crunchy granola bar. If you haven't had those crunchy bars please try them for lunch i had a pastrami and cheese sandwich with ray secret sauce so good and then a side of ritz toasted chips and these fudge marshmallow cookies so good and then i have my usual g's mass gainer shake which if you are interested what is inside of that shake you can go find that video somewhere on the channel and then for dinner like i said spicy buffalo nuggets fries and a powdered donut my guy i figured this last question would be a good note to end off on and was what what's your favorite type of video to make and also what are your plans for the channel going forward so not to sound cliche but my favorite types of videos to make are literally all of them i love every type of video i get to make as long as i'm front of the camera and as long as you know like literally just I love making videos. I love the whole process. I love recording. I love editing it. I love making the thumbnails. I love uploading it and just sitting there watching YouTube slowly upload. I love all of it. And my plans for the channel going forward, literally not changing a single thing. I plan to just keep doing this, but I plan to keep improving it slowly, you know, more and more, making making my edits a bit better, you know, upgrading my equipment, getting a better, better capture card, better, you know, like the new consoles, PS5, Series X, better camera, better mic, all of that. But when it comes to the core channel, uh, nothing's going to change, man. It's just going to be me doing my thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> just being as real as I can with you guys. That's always been my biggest focus with the channel, just being as real as I can with you guys, you know? No, no barriers here, you know? You, 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 you guys, we're, we're all family here. That's that. As always, a shout out to the patrons, Commerce Fade Grandma, and Low Booty Tap. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow at 7. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see another Q&A some point in the future, I'll definitely do it. Peace.